we have got a highly effective full body workout that is going to tone and tighten your arms, legs, and abs. And the only equipment you'll need for this workout will be your moderately heavy dumbbells. Just to give you a range today, I am going to use probably my 15 pounds. That's going to be for things like my bicep curls, chest flies. Then I'm going to go moderately heavy, 25 to 30 for some rows, for some squats. And then super heavy, we have a sumo deadlift in there. So I'm going to go with 50 pounds. But that's just to give you a range. Make sure you are picking weight that is going to challenge you throughout this training session. We're going to get right into our warm up and then we will get this workout started. So let's go ahead and start with hip circles. So feet planted, we're going to bring one leg up, pull it in and then open it wide. Alternating sides here. We have got two circuits today. In that circuit, we're going to have um, some upper and lower body exercises and we're going to finish out with an ab finisher at the end. Work for those two circuits are going to be 45 seconds with a quick 20 seconds to rest. Abs, we're going to work 30 seconds with 10 seconds to rest. One more on each side here, and then we're going to go into bum kicks. Open it up. So feet a little wider than shoulder width, and let's bring those heels to tap. about 10 more seconds, then we're gonna switch it up to quad stretches. We're gonna hold this stretch a little bit longer here in three, two, and one. So take it, hold it for just a second, and then switch it up. We wanna make sure the lower body is warm today because we have got some serious squat work going on. Really gonna target the quads, the hamstrings, and the glutes for the lower body. And then the upper body, we're gonna work it all. Last one here. Next, we're gonna go into squat. We're gonna bring that opposite elbow to opposite knee. So squat down and then bring it up. Exhale as you bring that elbow to meet the knee. One more on each side. And last one, now open the arms up nice and wide and then we're gonna take and cross the arms. One arm comes in on top and then the other. Almost through this warm up. Here's three, two, and one. Reach and pull, so reach those arms up nice and high. Pull down, squeeze the shoulder blades around your spine and then reach back up. And pull. reach two more and then we're going to go into our first exercise which is a squat with an alternating reverse lunge or i'm going to have a modification for you where you are just going to do your squat so you'll see the modification on screen but grab your dumbbells for that squat with alternating reverse lunge and let's do this and bring your dumbbells up onto your shoulders we've got five seconds squat into reverse lunge in three two and one here we go so we're going to alternate sides. That squat's right there in the middle. Now we're going to work each exercise two times through. So we'll get a quick break and then we'll go right back into this exercise. So right now decide if you can go a little heavier with your dumbbells, if you're going to stick with this weight or if you need to adjust down. Here's three, two, and one. Nice. Breathe it out. Quick break and we go again. 10 seconds. We've got five seconds. So let's get ready, back into squat, right into that rear lunge. Here we go. Now this workout today is gonna incorporate quite a few compound moves, which means we're gonna be working multiple muscle groups, but we've also got some isolation exercises to target specific whew, muscle groups, again, we are gonna be getting strong in this one. 
Keep that form, keep that head up, keep that chest up. Work at your own tempo. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Nice. Romanian deadlift is next. So if you need to adjust your dumbbells up, go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna stick with this. Whew. 10 seconds we go. Let's start getting into position. Shoulders roll down and back. Make sure those dumbbells stay nice and close to your body. We go in three, two, here we go. Slight bend in the knees, driving those hips back. And back stays flat. Awesome. Keep it strong. You're halfway. Almost there. Good. Here's three, two, and one. One more set. Anytime you need to grab a drink, dry off. Go for that. With that Romanian deadlift, those knees, just a slight bend. We drive those hips back, feeling it in the hamstrings, and then squeezing to bring everything back up. We've got three seconds. Here's two, and let's begin. So the weight's staying in your heels. Over halfway. Whew. Come on, you're almost there. Take your time. Three, two, and one. Awesome. We're going into a close grip row now. Now you can keep two dumbbells and keep those dumbbells pinned together or I'm gonna go ahead and work with one heavy dumbbell for this exercise. And with one heavy dumbbell, I'm just gonna clasp my fingertips around, or my fingers around. Ooh, so hinging at the hips, back flat, core engaged, slight bend in the knees, and here we go. Keep those arms closed, bring those dumbbells or that dumbbell right into ooh, your chest. That dumbbell is actually coming right around that torso, chest area. Full range of motion, down, squeeze shoulder blades around spine, control it down. Exhale as you pull that weight up. Good, this is it, this is three, two, one. Rest it out, we've got one more set. How'd the weight feel? Were you challenged through that entire 45 seconds or could you have kept going? If you could keep going, try to go a little bit heavier. Whew, we got five seconds. Grab the dumbbell, let's get ready. Here's three, two, and one. Oh, back is on fire, oh my word. We got this though. Oh, over halfway. Here we are, this is three, two, one. Go. Oh, all right, we're going into a sumo squat with a hammer curl. So for that, because we're combining the lower body and the upper body, choose a weight that is gonna challenge you for your biceps for that hammer curl. So we're gonna go into the sumo squat, curl, and then back up. So legs out, toes out, 
we go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Down, hold it down, curl it up, down, and squeeze the glutes at the top. Keep those arms close to your body. Arms are pinned into your side. Oh, this gets so challenging holding that sumo squat at the bottom. Almost there. Last one. Here we go. This is three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> oh, we got it today. Less than 10 and we go. Oh, let's get our dumbbells. We've got three, here's two, and one. Down we go, hold it low, curl it up, squeeze that bicep, and down. As you push up, from this sumo squat. Make sure you're pushing into the heels of your feet there. Oh. We are working the squats today. Lower body's gonna feel so good after this. So is the upper body. Last little bit, here's three, two, and a one. Awesome. Goblet squat is next. With the goblet squat, you're gonna bring that dumbbell right in the front. One dumbbell for this. Let's grab it. Let's get into position. Five seconds, here's three, here's two, and a one. Now you might notice right away if you didn't go heavy enough like I just did. I'm moving on up. Whew. So if you ever need to adjust your weight right from the get-go, just take those few seconds, adjust it, and get right back into it. Whew. Come on, push it, breathe. Almost there. Here's three, two, one. Oh, my. Oh. Shake it out, rest it out. 10 seconds we go again. This is, the intensity is high on this. This is intense because we've got that short break period and we go right back into it. Get your dumbbell, we go in three seconds. Here's two and one, let's go. And squeeze. Squeeze the glutes right here, squeeze. Make sure head is up, chest is up. I know sometimes with the goblet squat, you can kind of lean over a little bit, but make sure, keep everything nice and strong, keeping that core tight. Almost there. Oh my. Here we are, this is three, two, one. All right. Next we are going into, well, that was circuit one, done. Moving on to circuit two, we've got that same structure for circuit two, where we are going to do each exercise twice through. We're gonna start with upper body. We're gonna start with wide curls. So get your dumbbells for biceps again. We've got just under 30 seconds and we go. 20 seconds left, perfect time to grab a drink if you need it. Almost halfway through this workout. We've got an abs finisher. I'm telling you, it's gonna burn so good. 
All right, wide curls, arms turned out. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Squeeze. Arms stay nice and close to your body. Make sure your shoulders are not shrugging up as you curl those weights. Shoulders stay rolled down and back. Think about that bicep muscle right here at the top. Really squeeze, contract it, control it down. This is it. This is three, two, one. Nice. Quick recovery. Oh my goodness. Whew. The waterworks have started. Oh, who turned on the sparkle? That was us. We are here shining. We gotta go again. Here's three, two, and one. Exhale as you squeeze up. Close your eyes if you need to think about that bicep muscle. Think about it right here. Think about it squeezing and then control it down. So hold it for just a second at the top so you can really get that nice contraction and then down. Ooh. We're almost there. Good, we've got three, two, and one. Ooh, nice. I bet you wouldn't believe me if I told you we have squats next. <laughs> we do, we have squats with a narrow press. So narrow press palms are gonna be facing each other. We're gonna squat down. We're gonna press overhead. We've got five seconds, so bring those dumbbells up. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Squat down, press it up. Squat down, press up. Think about this as two moves. You've got the squat, come back to starting position, Press up, back down, and then into the squat. So I don't want you to think about using momentum right now to get the weight up. So we've got a squat. Then we've got a narrow press. Not a squat where we power through to get that weight up. Whew. All shoulders right now with this press. Almost there. Three, two, whew, one. Nice. Oh, quick break. Grab a drink. If you can adjust your weights up, go for that now. We go in less than 10. So let's get our dumbbells, get ready. Here's three, two, and one. Let's go. Squat. Come on, hold it here. Press it up, all shoulders. Come on, give it your all. I know it's getting tough right now. You're making those changes that you want though. Almost there. We are under 10 seconds now. Good, this is three, two, one. Bring it onto the mat. We're gonna be on the mat now. We're going to work um, tricep push-ups. We're also gonna do chest flies down there and that sumo deadlift. Actually, I'm gonna keep these for my chest flies. Ooh. But let's go ahead, bring it down for tricep push-ups, knees or toes, here we go. So keep those arms nice and close. Core is engaged. Exhale as you press up. Elbows driving to that wall behind you. Oh, those arms are shaking.
Almost there. Here we go. This is three, two, one. Breathing. We've got 10 seconds. We go again. If you can do a, a couple on your toes, go for that. And then if you need to switch to your knees. But let's get ready. Here's three, two, and one. Push through the heels of your hands. Keep those arms close. You should feel those arms right next to your rib cage as you lower down and press up. Almost there. Good, this is three, two, one. Rolling it over now for chest flies. Get your dumbbells, roll it back. We've got 10 seconds. Oh my, all right. We go in three, here's two, and let's fly. Squeeze. Really think about squeezing those chest muscles right here at the top. And exhale. Ooh. You're almost there. Keep it strong. Ooh. This is three, two, and one. Nice. Ooh. Give it a break for just a second. We've got one more set like that. And then we're gonna finish up with that sumo deadlift. Five seconds and counting, so bring the weights back up. Ooh, going in three, two, and one. As you bring those weights up, make sure those wrists are staying straight. You don't want the dumbbells to make your wrists bend backwards. Weight stays in the heels of your hands here. So that dumbbell bar, that's where that is. That's gonna help keep those wrists straight. If, you're, if the bar is in your fingers, it's gonna bend your wrists back. Whew. Come on, squeeze, exhale, you're almost there. Oh, this is three, two, one. Nice, all right. So now we're going into that sumo deadlift. So bring it on up, grab your heavy dumbbell for that. I like to use one heavy dumbbell in the middle. You can always use two. So legs, toes out. This is where we hinge at the hips and we bend the knees. So here we go. Push through the heels. Exhale as you press. So you can see those hips are driving back, those knees are bending, back stays flat. Good, almost there. This is three, two, and one. Good. Quick break. We go through that one more time. Oh, last set. And then we're finishing up with that abs finisher. I told you, we're gonna be strengthening the arms, the legs. Next, we've got the abs. Last set here, going in three, two, and one. Oh. 
Halfway. We're gonna get a longer break here after this. So you'll have a time to grab a drink, shake it out before we hit abs. Good, here we are. This is three, two, and one. Ooh. All right, no dumbbells for our abs round. But we'll meet on the mat here. Perfect time to grab a drink, dry off. The abs, no repeat, but we've got six exercises that we're gonna work through. Shorter work time, shorter rest time. We're on for 30 and then we rest for 10 seconds for the abs. So let's talk about that first exercise. First exercise is the crunch and clap. You can modify by just doing a crunch and keeping your hands behind your head. But we go in 10 seconds, so let's roll it back. Get ready to go. With or without that modification, really think about getting those shoulder blades up off of the mat. And here we go. Almost there. Three, two, one. Ooh, nice, all right, side plank hip drop. You can do the modification on your knee or you can do both legs out and here we go. Drop that hip, bring it back up, drive those hips towards the ceiling. You gotta squeeze the glutes right here. And squeeze. Ooh. Almost there. Next up, we're just gonna switch sides. Good, here's three, two, and one. Switch it right over. That 10 seconds go, goes by so quick. Ooh. So again, modification on your knees, but let's begin, here we go. Reverse crunches next. Almost there. Here's three, two, one. Ooh. Right into reverse crunch. Hands right next to your bum here. You can tap your legs if you'd like. And here we go. Two exercises after this, keep it up. Oh, keep it strong. Oh, our stretch is gonna feel so good after this one. Definitely take advantage out of the stretch after this one because we really worked the legs here. Oh, this is three, two, and one. Ooh, we're getting ready, cross body crunch, leg and arm, opposite arm to opposite leg, and here we go. Arm and leg are straight. We're gonna do one side and then the other. Really reach for that toe. Get that shoulder blade up. Three, two, one. Ooh, 10 seconds, we switch it to that other side. So arm leg gonna be straight. We're gonna extend, reach out nice and long, and then uh, meet the arms and legs. And here we go. Oh. 
Good, here we go. This is three, two, and one. Oh, amazing. You deserve a stretch, and that stretch is waiting for you. I will see you over at the stretch. You are amazing. Thank you for joining me, and I love you.